here I know I've got to have enough mud on there to cover that ugly paint and see that was had spray texture on it too that's why I'm covering this up because we're going to be retexturing these walls and we want them all to look the same okay so a good way to do that is to go ahead and skim over your entire wall depending how big your project is and all you know Sometimes with these smaller walls, you may have to go down this way because I'm right down to a, to a corner bead. If they didn't put enough mud on there, the wall's not perfectly flat, you know, from there down. And I could use my 12 inch. I got a 12 inch knife. I decided not to, not to use that yet. I guess I, I could have for this little area. This, is, this seems to be working. Gonna give you give you practice as to how much mud to put on, how to hold it, to take it off, and all that. Okay, make sure when you skim you use all-purpose joint compound, or you can use uh, what's called topping material, not the taping material, the topping material. So you could use either one. Okay, but I always I I tend to just use the, the all-purpose because then I can use it for taping and topping since I don't do a whole lot of patches. Okay, I guess that's all I'm going to do until my next coat. And then when I, when I get ready to do the skim, I mean I'm basically doing a skim coat right now. When I do the tight skim, I'll use my 12 inch for that, and it's going to cover really good. Let's just get a little bit up there. Man, see, you're just going to have to play with it, and once you get it to a certain point, you just have to kind of leave it. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Now I can work around the window edge and all that. And I'll use just a small little knife for that. I've got just a, a little three inch knife right here. And I'm just going to coat this whole thing. You see, that's why... I cleaned off all the edge around the window first so I can get my blade in here nice and just have it go straight because once it starts hitting something it leaves all kinds of lines and stuff in there. pretty fun to do this you'll get good at it once you do it a few times that's it that's all I'm going to do on that edge and I'm going to do the rest of the window the same way I've got a, just a small edge about three quarters of an inch next to the cabinet I'm just going to take my knife and put it just on the tip on the left hand tip I'm going to use my knife there and just kind of see what I can do about making that a little bit smoother. Nice little light touch on that. Looks like they didn't put any corn bead on that one. I might have just used the tape edge 
because it's not very, not going on very straight, but I can at least fill up any of the little voids and get that a little bit nicer. Okay. Resituate my mud in the pan, look at it. See how I'm going to hold it on the knife and just put it on the tip like that. Run it down there. Does it look like I'm doing anything major and it's that hard to do? No. And man, I like this. I like my trusty little light, my construction light. Don't leave home without that, please. Hey, the last thing you want to do is forget about any certain areas. And every time I come over here to do patching, I keep forgetting to look at this area here, okay? So don't forget to get everywhere.